everybody welcome back i'm sorry about the strange background and stuff um, i just moved back to japan i don't have my lighting or anything like that um, but i really wanted to make this video so in this video we're going to be comparing the CompTIA security plus objectives with the google Cybersecurity objectives and kind of give you a good idea of what you can get out of either program i'll also be giving away another thousand dollars in this video so definitely check the pinned comment for rules on how to enter the whole reason for that is i'm trying to get people to actually validate what i'm saying and have a discussion like if you agree or disagree or something like this. I want people to like watch the whole video and give actual feedback, which is part of the rules for the entry. And the whole reason for that, I don't want to just be like a person saying stuff and people just like believing it. Um, I, I welcome anyone who disagrees with what I'm saying. And especially these type of videos where I'm talking about Google cybersecurity certificate or anything that costs money really. So definitely check out the rules and please enter to win. And by the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about which one I think is better and what I think you should do. So again, definitely validate what I'm saying. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. So if you're someone who's even remotely interested in cybersecurity or you're trying to decide which certs to get or you just wanna win some free money, definitely keep watching. I'm gonna put a link to the Google cybersecurity program below as well as a link to some free CompTIA Security Plus practice questions. There's over a thousand questions in the deck. You just need to download and install Anki to use it and Anki is free. So basically, if you follow me by now, I've made a couple of videos that are kind of on this topic um, from a purely objectives standpoint, like what the exam covers. In my opinion, Google Cybersecurity Program is just better because it covers more things. I have both of these certifications and I've also recertified for Security Plus twice because the first one expired. Before I super deep dive into the objectives and talk about all of that, from an economic standpoint, it actually makes sense to get both of the certs because if you complete Google Cybersecurity Cert, you automatically get a 30% discount code for Security Plus, so you actually save money doing both of them versus just doing Security Plus, if that makes sense. Hopping right into what you came here for, this is actually a Venn diagram of the Security Plus objectives overlapping with the Google Cybersecurity Program objectives. This diagram does look simple enough, but it does require a bit of explaining because the CompTIA Security Plus objectives, those are like publicly available and you can just download them essentially. But for a Google Cybersecurity program, if you try to look for the objectives, you, you'll, you'll run into the landing page, but it doesn't really have like a super rigorous list of all the objectives like CompTIA has for Security Plus. So just so you know, for full transparency where the Google Cybersecurity objectives came from, we basically ripped the whole transcript for the Google Cybersecurity course, like all of the talking throughout the course, we like ripped that into each section and we kind of fed those to ChatGPT and used like a prompt to pull out the objectives of each section. And, and I kind of pasted them in a document and cleaned them up a bit to what you see here on the screen. And then to figure out kind of like where the overlap was and which was exclusive to either certification, we just used a whole bunch of control effing in conjunction with ChatGPT to kind of identify which objectives belong to which certifications and which ones were kind of unique between the two. I did do my best to make this Venn diagram, but to be honest, like even the Security Plus objectives list, like the official one from CompTIA, honestly, that thing is like quite bloated and there's no way to tell like which objectives are, are weighed more than, more than others and like which ones will appear and like, no doubt some of them won't even appear at all. And you know, the whole thing with the Google cybersecurity objectives, like having to make that from scratch. But I will say like, I did put a link in the description um, for the spreadsheet I made to kind of compare the objectives and make the Venn diagram. So if you wanna look at that and kind of expand upon it or call me out for making any errors, definitely check that out. I'll put it in the description. And obviously, if you look at this diagram on the left, Security Plus, on the right, Google Cybersecurity, 43 unique to Security Plus that I found anyway, 73 unique to Google, Google Cybersecurity, and then 334 overlapping in the middle. That is this middle section. These are topics that are essentially covered by both exams. And if you open the spreadsheet, if you look at the stuff that's labeled both, that's where this 334 came from. And the whole reason why I keep saying Google Cybersecurity is better from purely an objective standpoint, you can just look at the graph and see it and you can reconcile it for yourself with a spreadsheet if you want to. It'll probably take some time. But you can definitely do that yourself. And Aside from the objectives, there just being more coverage, These, this is like an actual list of all the hands-on lab type stuff that you can find in the Google Cybersecurity program. There's quite a large section on operating systems, specifically Linux, which is pretty important in cybersecurity. This whole large section on databases and SQL, lab on encryption and hashing, network monitoring, and then a really large, large section on automating things with Python. And this is quite huge. It's quite substantial, it's like quite substantial content over security plus to be honest. And these are all like hands-on components, like stuff you'll actually do. Like they set up labs inside of the Google cybersecurity program to do it. It's 
all like packaged together and it's delivered quite well. So purely from an objective standpoint, you can't really argue that Security Plus is better than Google Cybersecurity. It's it's simply not. Like Google Cybersecurity has way more stuff than Security Plus and it's clearly better from just like a learning standpoint. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. But that's not to say that there's no merit or no benefit in getting Security Plus. Like, obviously, there is, right? There's name value. Name value is a thing. Like, if you go to Indeed and you search Security Plus, and then you search, like, Google Cybersecurity Program, there, there's, there's, like, infinitely more Security Plus, right? There's infinitely more. Not to mention, like, if you get Security Plus, it qualifies you to work for federal jobs and defense contract jobs as well. And if you're a brand new person, you're wondering like, well, which one should I get? Like, to be honest, like the economic and in my opinion, the correct answer is to just get both of them. The reason for this is when you complete the Google Cybersecurity program, you get a 30% off voucher for CompTIA Security Plus. This ends up being around $117 off. And if you complete Google Cybersecurity program in one month, it only costs you 50 bucks. And if you take that voucher and go and get Security Plus, uh, you just end up getting both of the exams for something like $67 less than if you only got Security Plus. It sounds really weird, but that's basically the reality of it. Getting both of them potentially is cheaper than just getting Security Plus on its own. Not to mention the way that the Google Cybersecurity program is delivered. It's quite a bit better than Security Plus and it's way cheaper than Security Plus's official curriculum. It's just like, in my opinion, it's way better to start out doing Google Cybersecurity program than Security Plus. It just, to be honest, it's better having gone through both of them. And I don't want to make it sound like Security Plus is really bad or anything like this. Obviously, the objectives in it are really solid, right? And people know what Security Plus is. It's it's good to have it. The point I've been trying to make is just like from, from purely an objective standpoint, Google Cybersecurity is just better. But yeah, definitely let me hear your opinion on this. It's going to be part of the contest entry rules for like the $1,000 giveaway. And the, the whole reason, again, is I, I want to be validated, right? If somebody disagrees with me and for like some valid reason, maybe it's invalid I don't know definitely like put it in the comments gives other people a chance to look at it like if they're trying to deliberate between the two or if they're trying to decide if I'm like a legitimate creator or not or something like this definitely give your opinion below I really I really want to hear it and since we got this far I do have my own cybersecurity course it's quite good in my opinion it's delivered in the cloud it deals with live attack traffic on the internet but yeah thanks for watching don't forget to share your opinions and we'll see you in the